Hey everybody, welcome to the very first vlog of Bubba's Adventures. I'm your host, Peter Keaton, but you can call me Bubba. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, my whole idea here is to go to places that nobody's seen up here, and up here meaning Wisconsin, and to really get down into it, uh, I am actually from Chippewa Falls, which is just north of Eau Claire. And this neck of the woods is kind of a nice little area, quiet, and as you can tell, very wooded. Um, but it's also uh, more than that. There's a lot of history uh, in this town and the surrounding areas. Uh, the, the one thing main thing that this town is known for is logging a lot of uh, logging uh, back in the early 1900s and and so on so basically my goal is to actually show you some of the places that uh, have some rich history behind them and then go around the surrounding areas as well and kind of show you uh, some abandoned places, abandoned uh, bridges, uh, and then some attractions and whatnot. Um, now, I will tell you this. I'm not like the most uh, handsomest guy. My communication skills are not really that great. But I am doing this because I want to show everybody where I come from and to share that with you guys so uh, bear with me I'm hoping that everybody will like and subscribe to this channel um, this is gonna be kind of a <laughs> a long process I'm hoping that everybody will enjoy what I'm basically going to be uh, showing off uh, so for starters uh, let's kind of take a little tour here. You see we have this little bridge right here. Okay, well This bridge used to be let me Switch hands here. This bridge used to be an old railroad uh, Going from Eau Claire To where I'm at which is Chippewa Falls now if you look on the map it they're pretty close together, but way back in the early 1900s back when logging was the big thing they needed you know some traveling and railways were the, the thing back then so this used to be an old railroad bridge and if we take a gander at you know the the structure of this bridge I mean it's pretty pretty old we're gonna kind of take a walk here and I think what I'm gonna do is kind of give you some views from the top of the bridge here and uh, and then maybe we'll go to a different location so let's take a look hey you see here this goes way across and if you take a really good look If you follow that path, that is a uh, old railway going back through the woods there, and that actually leads right down into the uh, into Eau Claire, which is a few miles away. So what we're gonna do now is kind of take a nice little peek. What's going on down here? That's a little creek. This actually is a spring fed. And you can see that little pipe down there. Well, that is from uh, a little spring, uh, just a little bit of ways. And it goes right through that pipe. Comes all the way down. And all the way over here. You can see down there. Goes all the way through 
and actually ends up in a place called Glenlock Lake. And that's where we'll be headed next. So here we are, still in the middle of the woods. And right now I'm on this path that's gonna lead right down to where I was telling you that that spring fed into. We're gonna go right down to the Glenlock Dam. And it's basically a nice little lake the Glenlock Lake and there's a lot of history um, with this area a lot of a lot of old things going on basically uh, an old lumber mill over on the other side I'm gonna try getting to it uh, now I'm one that would say I'm a pretty big guy and I got a couple bad knees so bear with me if I'm seeming like I'm huffing and puffing that's because I'm a little out of shape and I don't like trails too much but I'm still going still checking this gonna check this out we're just going to go down here a little bit ways. And you can see, there's the, there's the lake. And we're going to go down here further a little bit. Now, back in the early 1900s, over across the way, there used to be a, I guess you could say a sawmill. I want to say that's what it was. Um, that dam was part of it. Uh, and it looks like I'm kind of in the wrong spot. So I'm going to go up here a little bit. Now there's a lot of erosion going on right here. And a lot of uh, tripping hazards. So I'm hoping that I'm watching what I'm doing. And still talking to you guys. So, like I said, bear with me. We're going to get through this. And go up here a little bit more. Whew. Go up here and check out the dam. See where they had the, the, the old mill. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I'm going to catch my breath. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's a trail, and I don't know if you can pick or hear the sound. My phone is picking this up, but right down here, bear with me, this is not easy for me, but a big guy with two bad knees trying to do this but uh, I'm not going down there any any further than I have to but uh, you can see right over there that's where the dam is we're on the back side of it on the front side is it's pretty nice looking but if you see over there way in the distance there that's remnants of an old sawmill from the early 1900s. Um, as you can see, it's kind of painted there. Uh, we were, as a community, told last year that they approved this whole area all back up in there in the woods. They approved a new, a new uh, park. They're gonna have a, they're gonna build a new park over in that area. And it just so happens that that's going to be uh, one of the casualties of that park. So they're going to tear that that old uh, relic down. There's not much over there anymore, but it's it's still pretty cool. You can do. Uh, I've seen where people have taken pictures inside there, but um, but down there, that's where the dam is. So, um, but. 
way back in the 1900s this this is this all was filled with logs and when it got to be where it got to be too full obviously they put all the logs up there and you know do what they had to do with the lumber mill and so I'm not a too, uh, a uh, professional on the history of lumbering but uh, this is just you know one of the areas that uh, they have the uh, old lumber mill and I thought maybe you guys would want to see that so um, I'm gonna go to another location we're gonna check out the front part of this this dam this Glenlock dam so uh, and like I said please bear with me I'm not the best of uh, uh, communications and I don't have very good verbal skills but I, I'm trying my best and maybe enough of these uh, vlogs I'll come out of my shell and get a little bit better so um, bear with me and uh, uh, thank you so on that note we're gonna check out the front part There it is. That's the front part of Glenlock Dam. And like I said once before, this used to be a logging area for a sawmill right off to the right there. Can't really tell anymore because it's all overgrown. But this is what it looks like today. It's pretty majestic, very beautiful. Nice little dam there with the overflow and it just goes right down past the trees and all the way down past down in there but uh, this is what it looks like on the front side and it's pretty nice looking I think so anyways and I've actually uh, done some pictures uh, me and my wife are kind of part-time photographers I'm a DJ whatnot but um, we've done uh, many of pictures down here because of this backdrop and it's just it's pretty nice looking um, so Give that a little little food for thought and you know if you want to click the like and subscribe and leave some comments that'd be great um, I'm open to any suggestions if anybody's up here in Wisconsin or if anybody wants to know anything about Wisconsin uh, this comment and uh, I'd be more than happy to relay some information and and uh, hopefully I get some suggestions on uh, where I can go from here um, I got a few ideas what I want to do and and uh, hope you like them so on that note thank you and please like I said bear with me this is all brand new to me uh, even the editing uh, it's going to be kind of a hit or miss type of thing, so just bear with me. Uh, I hope you guys uh, like what I'm doing, and uh, and thank you very much, and enjoy. And this is Bubba, and it's Bubba's Adventures. Thank you.